Well, we've been hiking for just over an hour and uh, the old weather is still a little still a little thick but we have got a bit of visibility and we've just spotted 12 rams. They're quite a long ways off. I've had a quick look with the spotting scope and uh, there's a couple of real potential shooters in there. And I need to close the distance and check it out. Up here they're a oh, mile and a half. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good to me, but then this is the first time I've ever done this. <coughs> they certainly look like a lot of horn on the heads of a couple of them. So, let's go check them out. Alright guys, we've, uh, we've stalked up the valley and we are now within 150 yards of them. I'm going to use this rock in front of us here as a bit of cover and I'm going to stalk up there and put the scope on them and see if we've got a legal ram. There's 13 rams, so hopefully one's a good one. Just up here. The ram that is standing second to the left, not the one way off to the left. Yes, oh, two, there's two laying down in front of him. Um, if you think you can shoot him there, you can go ahead and shoot him. But do not shoot unless you're absolutely sure you're not going to hit one of the other ones. You can see his whole shoulder. Yeah. The range is 150 yards. Okay. So your bullet's going to shoot fractionally high anyway. There you go, he's, he's stretching out. Shoot him right there. Beautiful. <laughs> Yippee. <laughs> I am pumped. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> it's my first, my first trip to Alaska to hunt, and uh, my first day of the first trip. Brian got me into this magnificent beastie, who is uh, hopefully be coming home with me now. Uh, he is going home with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt about it. <laughs> he's a magnificent ram. He's uh, <clears throat> he's got nine age rings on him. He's not quite full curl on this this side. He's uh, broomed on his right. Uh, if he was broomed on both sides, he'd be legal, but um, he's not broomed on both sides and he's not full curl, which doesn't make him legal that way, but he is legal via the eight-year-old rule, being nine, so. He's got I, thick, thick bases, huh? Yeah, he's got big, heavy bases. I'm picking 13, 13 and a half inch bases, which is pretty good for a dull sheep. And, uh, yeah. Big body, and we've got a big carry out of here, and it's. Uh, <laughs> you tell me about that part. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, make you appreciate him a little more when we get back. Great. But awesome. he is a uh, he is a tremendous animal. Awesome, I'm awesome picking, sheep. I'm picking these 36 and a half to 37 inches on the lamb the tip side. So yeah. Cool. Good job. Good thank shooting. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You're more than welcome. <laughs> well, we're uh, heading down off the hill with the ram. We've got the ram loaded, turned to the side. And uh, we've got about, probably about four miles, four and a half mile carry back to camp. So <laughs> quite a load. Uh, 
it's going to be quite a bit of effort involved. We'll be burning, uh, burning a few calories, that's for sure. Because uh, we have the whole ram loaded. Meat between the ribs, everything. There's no wasted meat on these guys. So uh, we have a backpack full of meat. There's no question about that. Two backpacks full of meat. <clears throat> well, <laughs> one backpack full of meat, one backpack with a little bit of meat, and a cape and a set of horns, which just quietly is a pretty heavy load. So uh, we're heading off the mountain. So yeah, we'll be back in camp probably in the next hour and a half, hopefully. Alrighty, we're hunting moose now. Uh, first morning of the season, and we've headed up onto the hill. Still pretty early. Spotted a cow and a calf, and a pretty nice bull. Could be another bull there. In fact, I think there is another bull. I think I can see another one right now, so we better get over there and have a decent look. a look anyway. Okay, we're uh, we're closing the distance in on these bulls. I think there's three bulls. I can hear them. They're, they're sparring down the hill. They're they're fighting right now. Let's, we're closing in. Come on. Oh, right there, right in the... <clears throat> Crank another one in, quick. Got him. Got him, got him. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> I think we have ourselves a nice bull moose down. Perfect shot right in the shoulder. If anything, a fraction high, but I know he's not going to go far. What do you think, Mark? I think I got him, but I hope he didn't go far. Awesome. No, I don't think he's going far. That was awesome. That was really, really awesome. It's about a 120, 130 yard shot on a magnificent Alaskan bull moose. Um, there was about three or four of them down there, actually. There was three, at least three, maybe four. I'm picking saw, that bull. I saw one uh, go straight away, one go that way. Yeah. And our guy just went a little ways. Like he that. didn't go far. We shot the biggest one in the bunch, that's for sure. I'm picking he's in the late 50s. I don't think he's quite going to go. Uh, I don't think he's quite going to go six, 60 inches, but he's he's a real Good nice. Good brow tines and stuff. Nice brows. Like. He's four and three, I think. So, cool. Let's check him out. I eh? go down Let's and have a look at him. Out. These things are much larger <clears throat> than they look in pictures when you're up next to him. My God, the legs, even the front legs are huge. This is a big animal. It's a big animal. Very, Absolutely. Very Congratulations good. on your first moose. Thank you very much for uh, doing such a good job and getting me to it. This is fantastic. You're more than welcome. Enjoyed your company on the hunt. Likewise, and the uh, 
pretty amazing. We got uh, first day sheep, first day moose. I'm amazed, but uh, very, very pleased. Yeah. Very yeah. pleased. No, all good. So, <clears throat> cool, cool dude, this guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We'll be back up here tomorrow uh, with the horses. It takes four horses to carry out one of these big boys. And I can assure you we have a rather large butchering job ahead of us. Uh, typically it takes me between two and three hours to get one taken care of and ready to roll. So. All right, it's the next day. And as you can see, we've got Mark's moose loaded and we're heading back to camp with it. <clears throat> uh, things are going pr pretty good so far. We've been going for about 20 minutes and probably got about an hour and a half to go. So it's all good. Got a sensational day for it too. The weather has really been turned on. Nice blue skies. No threat of rain at all. Beautiful day to be in Alaska.